was a send off befitting a legend as Kenya stand up in their numbers to pay tribute to a man credited with the birth of comedy in the country. And today, his final journey began. His body first transferred to the Kenya National Theatre, where those in the theatre industry turned up in their numbers to pay their last respects. During the funeral service at the Nyayo Stadium, family, friends and relatives eulogized Mzeo Juang as a charming person who always at peace with everyone. I will never quite understand why your time here was so short-lived. Because you said you will always be there to catch me when I fall. I miss you so much, Daddy, but I hope and pray that when it's my time, you will come for me and I will see you again someday. <laughs> Kila kitu kwake ni sawa hata umkose ni sawa. Lakini nafikiri hiyo ndio ilikuwa nini yake ya kuishi kwa sababu aliishi vizuri na watu na alikuwa kosani na mtu. Kama vijana ambao mlioko sasa unafaa mjue mzee alikuwa ni mtu wa maana na alikuwa mwongozo wa maana. Hata wasanii walioko sasa hizi wanajua kwamba bila huyo mzee hatungefika mahali tulipo. Kenya has lost an icon. A friend who came to your living rooms, who brought joy to our families. In his message, President Huru Kinyata described the comedian as a person who thought without sounding preachy, informed without boring anyone, and entertained without becoming trivial. President Huru Kinyata said family television will not be the same without the promise of Mzeo Juang entertaining the nation with his antics. As Mzeo Juang is unforgettable and iconic. His devotion to that character and role was exemplary. Through it, Mzeo Juang educated, informed, and entertained Kenyans with unparalleled dexterity. Nadhani nyinyi wasani pia mwa na komiti yenu tusikize shida zenu madai yenu tusingoje mtu anakufa tunaanza kusema shida zenu kama wasani. Mzeo Juang succumbed to pneumonia attack earlier this month while undergoing treatment at the Kenyatta National Hospital. Mzeo Juang lives behind a widow, Augusta Wanjiru, and two children, Patricia Njeri and Michael Karira. Mzeo Juang presence and screen antics will greatly be missed by his Vitimbi family, his family, and a nation that he tickled with his hilarious lines. Brenda Kiprono reporting for Channel One News Hour.